What do you know about beefsteak tomatoes? These are hydroponically grown. This is my first grow ever, hydroponics. Everything is working pretty well. As you can see there's a there's how those beef steaks start out. <clears throat> I use my little RO machine here. Reverse osmosis grow on X product. It's got a nice inline. Two outlines, one for wastewater, one for RO water. Got one just going to the drain. And one going to my strawberry container, which is the last to fill here. I've got all my other ones. Just changed out bloom nutrients. Check out my chili pepper plants. I'm not sure which variety each one is, but I know there's two. There's one, the lower one. Starts about right here. These, this right here is one kind, and then the one behind it, back over there, is another kind. Strawberries are doing great. I've only got two. I've got them in these three inch net pots. Let's see, right now, the roots are doing pretty good. A little, little collection on them, but. Tomatoes are the real wonders. They're just doing great. Chili peppers do good too, but they almost outgrow <laughs> the conditions that I'm giving them space wise and, you know, root container wise. This is my little hydroponic setup. It's pretty simple. A couple tomato plants. Couple strawberry, one couple strawberries, couple uh, chili pepper plants, a little bit of mylar, some five-gallon buckets. Everything works pretty good. Suspend the tomatoes with these yo-yos. It's a drawstring nylon. It's got a little hook on the end, keeps them afloat or whatever uh, position I need them to to get the best light I can. Everything's not going the best, but I'm sure it could be worse. This is the aeroponic setup I was going to start. I was going to grow lettuce, but decided uh, to focus on one thing at a time. Just so you get a height relevance. These plants are about a little over five feet tall, height-wise, tomatoes at the top, but those strawberries are pretty low. They're probably not getting as much light as they should either. Go back to the aeroponics. Water gets plumbed in here. Runs through a series of spray heads. You can see in there. Provides uh, aerated water and nutrient solution to each plant in each location here. Just draws water up from the pump, which is supposed to be in a reservoir. Here's my reservoir, upside down, so I'm not using it. It's got a filter for pickup, pumps the water up into those inlets right there. I've got on off valves, or if I need to change out plants or shut off nutrient for any reason to specific uh, troughs and water just collects on the other side and drains uh, via gravity back into the water storage container just a 20 gallon drum keep the lid on there to keep it shaded but have a hole in there so that the drain will let the water fall in, creating waterfall action, and then therefore aerating the solution. In addition, I'd probably run a air stone. You know, it'd be a trial and error thing. I haven't done it yet, but seems like that'd be uh, better than not. So there you go.
is my little nutrient solution station. Got some various tools and materials. Pretty simple setup. Pretty basic. First time. Hope you enjoyed it.